Hello there, guy. And today, American Cliffy is going to try and cook something called a beef burger, right? Now, beef burgers are really, really popular in America, right? But I've been talking to British Cliff, and he said that he used to live in a seaside town called Brighton. Now, Apparently Brighton is one of the most popular seaside resorts in England and he used to actually live there for about three years when he was a student. Now, everybody knows in order to cook a beef burger you need some beef burgers, right? That's obvious. But he tells me that he used to um, go to occasionally a beef burger um, restaurant, they used to have some really strange flavoured beef burgers, the sort that nobody's ever seen before, right? And it was in this town of Brighton. Well, anyway, right, it's going to come as no surprise to you that inside this beef burger will be some lettuce. Now, it's actually cheaper to buy this lettuce, apparently, as it is, pre-cut, than it would be to actually buy the lettuce uncut. Well, see, it was apparently um, about to expire. This is expired lettuce, okay? And it used and this cost 17 pence instead of 50p. It would actually cost it 69p. It would cost even more to actually buy an actual lettuce, okay? So this was a cheaper way of buying it. Now, this was out of date. Um, this was up on the 24th of February, right? And today, it's currently the 1st of March, okay? So it's a few days out of date, okay? Also, I have here a couple of buns, right? And these are again dated the 24th of February. I don't know if you can easily see it or not. And these were, um, these were 19p, it's a bit hard to tell, but it's about, these were 19p instead of 75p or something, right? It's difficult to show it on here, but never mind. It would have been 75p. But anyway, this was a pack of four, and I've already had two for another reason. So now, and these are dated, again, the 24th. The 24th of February, right? Now, I don't know exactly what's happening right now in England, but apparently there's all this stuff at the moment about Russia bombing everywhere, and apparently Russia and Ukraine is like, are like, we're together and having some sort of peace talks which aren't going very far, apparently, in Belarus. And I couldn't have possibly known that on the 24th of February, right? Now, as well, now there's, as well as that, right, now these things will not surprise you that you put them in a beef burger, right? But what, uh, but there's some really strange ingredients that you wouldn't expect in a beef burger. Now, normally you'd have like tomato relish and cheese or something. We're not going to bother with that. We're going to have some strange ingredients and sweat instead. We're going to have, and this is genuinely from the Brighton menu, I can't emphasize that enough, some pineapple slices. So we're going to put a tin of pineapples, and we're going to put some pineapple slices in. And also, we're going to have something called some peanut butter. Now, this hasn't been opened, but it was currently expired on November the 21st. Now, this was actually last year. Now, the, this was bought specially to buy what, these, but I never got round to actually doing it, okay? And also, you need a banana. Now... This looks like a really bad banana, and it probably is, but it'll have to do, right? It looks absolutely goddamn bloody awful. I did pop this into the freezer, into the fridge, sorry, to keep it nice and sort of... So, although a lot of it is really bad, God, some of it has gone bad. It was okay when I got it, and I opened some of it to see if it was still okay, but I did... So, it's quite a lot of that can still be used, okay? And so, I'm going to use that chop a lot of that and put it in to and cook it with the um, pineapple and and yes you're right you do use banana 
on a, on a beef burger. I've never seen this before in my life as an American, but yeah, apparently you do do it. But British Cliff has seen this in, uh, when he went to this, um, you know, um, Brighton beef burger joint, you know. Anyway, right, so here we go. Peanut butter, banana, lettuce, I can't remember why I'm just showing you. I'll start again because I can't remember. Peanut butter, lettuce, b actual beef burgers, wraps. Now, normally you'd have sesame seeds on a real burger. On a real American burger, you'd have sesame seeds, but it just got some. But these are just cheap, large white wraps because it was what we could afford, right? Apparently, right? And, um,. But normally they have sesame seeds on a real McDonald's, okay, or something like that, right? And a banana, okay, which is going to get chopped up and cooked, okay? So let's try and cook a couple of beef burgers, okay? And then after I've tried to cook these beef burgers, I'm going to eat them. Now, normally you put beef burger under the grill, but for once, because it doesn't look very good for, for filming purposes, I'm going to actually put it on a frying pan. Now, I know you're not supposed to fry things these days because it's apparently not too good for you, but I'm going to do it anyway because it looks better, okay? So we're going to see what happens, right? And... Good luck for me, okay? And I'm gonna see what happens now, okay? Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna now move over to where I'll be cooking it, okay? And then I'll come back later, and um, I'll try and eat it, okay? <coughs> okay, guys. Bye for now, and you'll come, in, come watching it, and you'll see me try and cook it all. I haven't a clue how you're supposed to cook it, by the way. I really haven't got a clue. I don't know if you cook the peanut butter or not. I don't know what the hell you're supposed to do. So I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Okay? I know you're supposed to actually f heat the beef burger, but apart from that, I haven't got a clue. But I'm, best, I'm guessing you're supposed to heat the pineapple and the banana. So I'm going to put them in the frying pan as well later, okay? Okay, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, first, I'm going to try, and I'm going to open up the beef burger pack here, okay? And then here it's got four burgers, so I'm going to make two of them, okay? I'm going to eat two of these burgers out, and put them in like that. I will cook them separately, but I'll worry about that later, okay? Right now, that's that out of the way for now. I'm gonna get rid of the rules. The bread, or as they call them, the white baps out. And I'm gonna cut these. So there you go. That'll have to do. <laughs> That's that, so I'm going to put that back in the packet. That's me and sorting out. Yeah. What else is there? Okay, now there's the pineapple. Okay. okay. Just trying to film this is absolute hell. No. I'm gonna 
open up the pineapple okay this is where you can get liquid going absolutely goddamn everywhere and I don't even know how many is in this thing so I'm gonna take one of these I'm gonna see how many is in here there's two here I'm not sure how many is actually in the thing There's four in here, okay, so alright, so that will be for another time. So, I'm gonna put one slice in, okay, and I'll deal with slices another time, okay? Right, okay, so, that's that ready. Put that in. Now, I'm gonna cut the banana. I've got here the banana, it's just dropped down, it's literally dropped out, so that's getting it out, so I'm going to try and pull the rest of the banana out. I'm going to keep what's good of this banana. I said it has been in the fridge, I wouldn't normally put bananas in the fridge, but I did, just because I wanted to be so sure it would last a few more days. Now some of this is pretty bad, so I just chop all the bad bit out, like all of that, and you're going to leave most of it. I'm going to chop all of this with it, and that will also get fried later, okay? So, there you go, that's dealt with the banana part. And I think the only other thing to do is to open up the peanut butter now this has not been opened yet so even though it is out of date it has not been opened so it should be okay to eat okay and they've got a protective seal on here so you know I left out the protective pe seal Right, here we go. Here's our peanut butter, okay? Right, guys, and this is a cheap brand of um, peanut butter. It's actually Tesco's on brand, but they've tried to use some fancy labeling to give the impression it's not a Tesco on brand, but it is actually a Tesco on brand. Anyway, right, so we'll have that later with it, okay? Right, and the last thing to do is to get the iceberg lettuce packet and just open it. Now, I'm just doing all this stuff now, so if there's any problems later, I don't have to worry about fiddling with opening things and things like that. So that's now open, okay? And I'm going to get some of the lettuce out. And because that lettuce has been in the fridge, it's still edible, right, so that's... That's practically all the preparation done. So now what I'm going to do... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the um, hop and I'm going to start frying the beef burger, okay? Now, as I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to add any oil with this, because normally you're supposed to add oil with things if you fry them. But often you get a ton of stuff coming out of these kind of things, so I'll see what happens. I'm going to try first without adding any oil, and if I have to add some oil, I'll add some oil, okay? Right, guys. Wish me luck. Right guys, and now I'm going to turn on the hub, and I'm going to put I'm going to try and split the beef burgers up 
and here I've got them two. I've separated the beef burgers and I put them in like that. Okay, so that will do. Okay. Now you can see. Beef burgers are in the pan, right? And so I'm gonna try and cook the beef burgers first, okay? I'm gonna try and put this on a high heat. But it does take quite some time to warm up on this thing. So while it's doing that, I'm gonna get a spatula, okay? I'm gonna get a spatula while it's warming up and so I can flip them over, okay? Right guys, I've got a spatula now. So now I'm going to try flipping it over. It won't have cooked at all yet because it's got a bit very, very, very hot, but never mind. I'm going to try pushing it down like this, just so it will actually... As you can see, it's already starting to get a bit juicy on the top, so... I should hopefully be able to get away with um, not actually putting any oil in. Also, there should be some juices coming out from the pineapple. Now the um, I just wish it would cook a lot faster, but never mind. I'm not McDonald's or Burger King, you know, so I can't certainly cook this in like 30 second flat or however they magically manage to cook a beef burger really, really fast. I know they claim in Burger King that they use um, some sort of flame grill. I must admit I've never seen it, but I've never looked for it, to be honest. I mean, if I've ever been in the Burger King, then, um, you know... I've just queued up and bought the thing. I haven't tried to look in the kitchen or anything, so I don't know exactly how they do it. I know they tell you how they do it, but I've never, I don't think I've ever seen the flame, you know, because if I did, I might have called, like, the, the fire brigade or something. But anyway, it's starting to cook now, and you can see it's starting to cook a bit, and it looks like some steam coming up, so... So that's one of the reasons why I'm not using uh, any oil because there seems to be quite a lot of grease coming out now. Normally you'd put oil in the frying pan, but I'm not going to, okay? Now what's really, really interesting, right, is that Cliffy's, British Cliff's mum, bought a, a cooking book a long time ago, in, I think it's the 1960s, and back then, they were all tr about trying to save money. They didn't care about their own lives. All they cared about was, like, saving money, right? And so that, in the advice in that cookbook was that you should fry everything because apparently it's ch it was cheaper to fry it than it was to grill it because of the cost of electricity and gas and that sort of stuff. But in the modern world, nobody cares about the cost of electric and gas anymore. They care more about, you know, living longer. And apparently the advice these days is that you should um, instead grill everything because it's better for you, okay? Now you can see all the grease coming straight out of it, right? You can see all this grease that was in, all liquidy stuff that was in the um, burger coming straight out of it, right? And so now while it's doing that, I'm going to start putting in the um, bananas, okay? So now I'm scooping in the bananas into it. Because I believe you've got to fry the bananas as well, right? Well, it's actually one banana, so I shouldn't say bananas because it's all part of one banana, but I'll, I'll call it banana slices because I don't know the proper term, okay? 
again I'm going to try and turn this over because I've got this on a very high heat so it should cook this like ultra fast so I'm going to turn this down now because it's like stupid so I'm going to turn this down uh, but because this is this, I believe a ceramic harp or something like that it takes a long time for it to cool down once it's actually started so once it gets warm it gets very warm and it takes a long time to cool down So now I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pineapple in. Now, I have to be very careful how I do this, right? Because I'm sure it's going to go everywhere. So I'm going to do this very carefully. I'm going to put my finger in and pull out a banana. So not banana, I'm a pineapple slice. Put my finger in, pull out another pineapple slice. And we've now got two pineapple slices, okay? <clears throat> so you got the pineapple, you got the banana. And again, I'm going to put the pineapple slices on top of the burger, which is what I think it's supposed to do when you go in the burn. And so the steam. The trouble is the um, the sliced. Um, Banana is starting to get a bit mangled, unfortunately, and I didn't want that. I did not want it like chopped up banana. I just want it to be sliced, but never mind. I'm going to move that out of the way and turn it over. Put the other side of the uh, pineapple on. I'll be honest with you, I'm used to grilling this kind of thing. I don't use exactly blue burgers, but um, I'm regularly now used to doing these um, special kind of what they call steaks, but they're not steaks, they're practically burgers, but steaks is a, like a marketing term. And I do lamb steaks and beef steaks, but it's not steak, it's just a burger. It's, they're called grilled steaks, but they're just burgers really, with a slightly different shape, but they're genuinely a burger. And I do them every day under the grill, practically, so... Um, I can't, sometimes Cliffy's mum wants, to, wants um, me to cook for her, so I cook for Cliffy's mum sometimes, you know, British Cliff, you know, <laughs> but there you go, right? I'm going to see what this looks like inside. So, has it been done inside? Is it raw? Um, <laughs> I'm going to take a bit out to see if it's done. This is just a test of piece. Just Now well, it looks like it may be done, so... Right now, I've turned it down, it's probably ready now, but... Um, 
I'm gonna do something I'm not sure if I should do or not, right? But anyway, I've got the peanut butter. Now I'm gonna put some peanut butter in it. That's what, not something I'm not sure if you're supposed to do or not. I don't know if you're supposed to heat peanut butter or not. But anyway. That is the peanut butter. I'm doing that partly as well to try and cool some of it down. So I might have to put some more peanut butter in, but never mind. I've, I've kept some just in case it's a total failure, so there's still some peanut butter in there. So at the moment I've turned down the grill, so... Well, not the grill, but the um, hob. So I've turned down the hob, so it should cool down a lot. And this peanut butter might cool down the pan. Also, I think it's about done now, so... So while it's doing that... I'm gonna now get this and get a spatula and I'm gonna put a burger and a pineapple in it. There we go. That's in the burger now. I'll put that aside a minute. I'm gonna do the bananas in a minute. So that's that for now. You know, all that's in here. And the peanut butter and the banana pieces, okay? Now... I didn't want the bananas to go into pieces, but it's just difficult to cook this kind of thing while you're filming, okay? So I'm going to... Now I'll divide it into right two sections. This is where it's going to be a complete absolute nightmare. That's one of them. I'm going to put the lettuce on in a minute. This is the other one. I say it's difficult to try and film this on your own, truthfully. Swapped. I'm gonna swap to the first one again. Right, so there you go. And the rest I'm going to do off camera a bit later. So, 
just for camera purposes. I'm not going to move that out of the way and concentrate on the plate. I'm going to lift this one open. Now I got some lettuce. I'm going to put some lettuce on here and close the bun. I'm not going to do the other one. Put some lettuce on. Close the bun. And that will do now for camera purposes. What I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to get what's left out of there and put it on the others. But it's just too hard to do it on cam. I could do it but I don't want them. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to eat. Get what's out of there. Try and do it off cam. And then I'm going to try and eat these, okay? So wish me luck, guys, and I hope it was a success. Thanks and bye, and then now you're going to see me eat it all, okay? Hello again, guys. And now I'm going to try and eat the burgers that I cooked earlier. So here are the burgers. I know they don't look as good as I do with McDonald's or something like that. Right, let's try now. Well, this one looks a bit like mangled, so I'm going to eat that first, okay? Now, I think it's some sort of thing. Some sort of thing on all this bird, all this um, lettuce and stuff, okay? Also, I don't know if you're supposed to heat your baps up or not, but. Never mind. To be honest, it's interesting, but I can't say I can taste a lot more than I would normally with a normal burger, but... If I try some of this off a minute. I got some of the burger in there, and I got some... That's why. A lot of the pineapples are falling to the back, stupid thing. That's why I couldn't taste it. I wonder why. I was baffled because all I could taste was burger. The problem was a lot of bad performance was the bad. Oh. I didn't see the banana and pineapple right, but so now I've got some of the pineapple. Now, as I say, the big back parts have fallen apart, man. I'm going to try a bit when I have the bat. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, right? As an American, I thought this would taste absolutely disgusting. I'm actually very surprised. I think it might even beat um, a McDonald's, but you know, that's not...
it's probably warm up a bit more, but this is actually very good. And, and during the supply, I don't know why McDonald's don't do something like this. But it does taste quite strange. I mean, you don't really detect any pineapple, you don't detect any banana. Or even really the peanut butter. But altogether it's got this really juicy taste. That somehow just seems to work together. In some really, really, really strange way. So there you go. I'm currently eating a burger. Based on a recipe. Oh, that looks like, or at least the ingredients at the very least. I don't know if it's the recipe because I don't know exactly how they cook them in grubs, to be totally frank with you, but looking at the ingredients only. And I wish I'd tried this earlier. I thought it would taste absolutely disgusting. I've been playing it off, but it actually tastes very good. But it's not what you think because you don't tend to get the flavours of any of them. You know, apart from the burger itself, but you get some strange sort of sauce flavour. Now, if you hate pineapple, you probably wouldn't hate this. If you don't like banana, probably wouldn't hate this. That's really, really kind of strange, but... So there you go guys, for those of you who thought you'd just go and watch a normal burger but make a meal, or Americans have tried to make a pig too. I'm just cooking a simple burger, you thought it was contain something like tomato sauce, and some lettuce, and a burger. And a bath and probably some food. You probably got one hell of a shot. So why can't you guys try it yourself sometime? You might even like it.
Now, I wish we had British Chris burger restaurant or some branches of it. Even the good old US of E. Because this is delicious. Okay, I think this is about it now, guys, so... <coughs> there you go, guys. A burger featuring beef burger, lettuce, pineapple, banana, and peanut butter. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. And now, I'm going to hand you over to British Cliff for a short while. Hello guys, it's British Cliff here, and yes, you've just seen American Cliff cook and eat a burger. These burgers really did exist, really, and I believe still do, at, as stated by American Cliff, a fast food burger restaurant in Brighton. I genuinely did live there as a student when I went um, to university, and I, I lived there for about three years, okay? I lived there for two years, then I had to do a year out in industry, which was part of my degree, which I did in Portsmouth, and then I returned to Brighton for the final year, okay? And they genuinely have these burgers there. I can't truthfully remember exactly which flavours of burgers I had when I went there, but when I went and I was so shocked. I'd never seen anything like this before. I'd never seen any burgers with strange flavours before, ever. And I don't think I've ever seen, personally, um, a burger restaurant with strange flavours like that again. I haven't looked very hard, I will be totally honest with you, but it was a true shock and a surprise, and I did have some of these strange flavoured burgers while I was there in Brighton. But I can't remember all of them. Okay?
that I had because it was a long time ago. It was probably, it was wasn't probably actually was. Um, truthfully, um, nearly thirty years ago. In fact, it was about thirty years ago. Over thirty years ago, in fact, in some cases. So, it's around about thirty years ago since I was at Brighton. Okay. Um, I would still have been in Brighton. 30 years ago now, still studying, and um, I would be in the final year at university at the time. So what you've just seen is a genuine menu item cooked at home. Um, how I guessed it, well, American Cliff guessed um, how it should be cooked. And um, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.